Today we are at the Thanksgiving party and she is my mentor and also my adopted mother. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. Uh, so, can you let us, uh, can you explain a little bit about Thanksgiving? So, I'm also new to Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is not a part of my family culture. In fact, my family adopted it. So I come from India where, you know, pujas and everything are important, but when we came to this country, I was very young, there were no pujas or anything. Mm -hmm. You had this little family deity, there were no temples, nothing. Mm -hmm. But in the Midwest, Thanksgiving was a big thing where all the family got together. And it wasn't, at that time, everything was homemade. Uh -huh. So we had a host family when we were in Columbus, Ohio, and we got invited for a Thanksgiving dinner. And when you, at that time, you were invited for the entire day. Mm -hmm. And the women would be in the kitchen, baking, making pies, everything. There'd be lots of kids running around, yelling, screaming, uh, playing kickball. Mm -hmm. I need good not, food. Uh, but then you have sat down to eat good food, uh -huh. and Thanksgiving dinner was usually around two or three o'clock, and there was lots and lots of food, and the turkey. And, and why, why the turkey? Yeah. I think that the way I understood it, because, you know, the way you're taught in elementary school is you eat the turkey because at one point in the Northeast, one of the original colonies, the Plymouth, um, they had had, either it was a good year or not, but the Indian population brought food in to share with the settlers. Mm -hmm. And so it's Thanksgiving because you've had a good harvest. It's to celebrate life, it's to celebrate family. And my parents adopted Thanksgiving as one of their special holidays after coming to this country as immigrants.